Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on a new plugin from Isotope Native Instruments called FX EQ. And it's a really interesting plugin. It lets you add some spice and flavor to your sound by combining up to five powerful different creative effects. You can easily add drive, add dimension, add texture with any of the five effects. And what makes it interesting is this innovative EQ style workflow that lets you dial them in to the specific frequency ranges that you want for each of the effects. So you can electrify your sound with saturation. We have different flavors of saturation here to choose from. You can add a lo-fi vintage vibe with different textures here that you can add. We have nice kind of texture with chorus, flanger, phaser, different modulation over here. And we have delays with a really interesting reverse delay and reverbs with three different reverb types. So it's really a creative playground where you can create interesting, unique combinations of these different effects in different areas of the frequency spectrum. So let's look at how it works. Each of the five effects are color-coded, and they each, when you click on them, adopt or adapt the color of the effect. And then you can grab any of these EQ nodes and adjust to taste. For example, let's say here's an organ part. I'll click on here to make this the active effect that's going to be edited. We can turn it on or off with that. We have four times over sampling on this one. We can get to the different types of saturation or use the stepper buttons. And there's a couple of main controls for each of the effects, which we'll look at in more detail in another video. So with that, I can grab the corresponding node and set it where I want. There's some saturation in the upper mids. Try the different types. A very different flavor. More aggressive. Now, normally when we think of an EQ, we think of this as a gain control, but in this case, it acts as kind of a wet, dry control for the individual effects. We're dialing in the amount of the saturation in this case that we want at this frequency based on dragging left and right. And this is the amount that we want to dial in. And like we're familiar with, with the Isotope EQ interface, we can adjust the width with this by dragging left and right. And we can adjust all of this numerically as well. Over here, I can double click and type in the frequency that I want. Same thing with gain or the Q, or I can mouse slide like that. And as we're dragging, we can hold down Option, and that's Alt on Windows, to solo what we're doing to hear where I'm saturating. So it temporarily engages the solo function, like pressing that button does. And of course, we can click X to get rid of it and just double click again there or click that plus button. You can click as many of these nodes as you want. And I can have, let's say, a band down here. And then I can click another band. to Have it up higher. Now here I can hear just the effects. So that's just the saturation. I can bypass. I can engage a limiter to avoid any overs. And then I have a master wet dry control for the entire module. So in this case, it's only saturation, but maybe I'll dial some delay in. a bit of it in the middle there with some crunch. We can hear it in context. So you see how you can really quickly in a fun intuitive interface dial up some creative effects by dialing any of these effects that you want in whatever ranges and you can have up to six bands by using the plus sign or double clicking to create additional nodes. And we also have additional EQ shapes. Here I've just been using a regular kind of parametric band, but I'm gonna command click to just reset these. And let's give you another example. Let's say I wanna dial up some reverb and get rid of that. And I'm going to click here and I'll dial some in. So here it's kind of like a high shelf affecting everything above this. 
I can get a low shelf to focus the reverb there. A regular parametric style band. Or more of a band shelf with a wider band where it affects the adjacent frequencies a little more strongly. And then maybe add some modulation. And some flanging. But just in the lower mids. So very interesting, fun to experiment. So welcome to Effects EQ. We're going to take a deep dive into what each of these modules has to offer. We'll continue with more in the next video.